topic. Today we're innovating our third paragraph of our discussion text. So for the do now on your whiteboards, what I want you to think about is what features do we need to include in paragraph three? Think about purpose con and content. Have a go on your whiteboard, pause the video. Okay, so the point of the third paragraph is to present the other side of the argument where you disagree with what's been said. So we're going to write the third paragraph and we're still discussing the question should uniform be bound? Will the purpose or content change? I ask you every day. The content's going to change, the point of the paragraph is not. So let's review the structure of paragraph three of the model text. The point is to present the other side of the argument where you disagree with what's just been said. Content is reasons to explain. And language features, you could have conjunctions to link contrasting ideas, hyphenated words, um, a colon to expand or add detail, and a dash for emphasis. So in the model text, the third paragraph was the other side of not sending people away, but if they had leprosy. So it read, despite the overwhelming evidence, most civilians wholeheartedly disagree with this strategy. In fact, they argue that there are many benefits to people being with their families when battling this infection. At home, people can be cared for sufficiently, loved ones can provide around-the-clock care and administer medication. Sending those affected away will only cause greater stress and split families up. Parents find the idea of being separated from their children inconceivable. In addition, a small number of medics who have been researching the illness believe the disease is not as infectious as first thought and cannot be transmitted through a touch alone. They think good hygiene and medication can slow the spread of this infection. So, we've got to write our third paragraph and we've got to detail reasons why children should wear, be able to wear their own clothes, so reasons for uniform being banned. So, have a go on your whiteboard. What reasons, why shouldn't children have to wear school uniforms? Write down some reasons. Let's see what I've come up with. Um, it can be expensive, especially sports um, uniform when you get to secondary school. Um, and you have to keep replacing it if you lose it or you grow, you have growth spurt and you have to buy bigger sizes. It takes away your identity. You can still work hard whatever clothes you're wearing. It's difficult to tell children apart. It's difficult to iron. Everyone is the same. It's not very comfortable. Sometimes shirts and collars and ties can be uncomfortable. Um, but it can be cold in the winter. So you can't layer up as much, can you? Whereas in the winter, you might be able to wear jumpers or fleeces. School shoes are very uncomfortable too, so you might be better in trainers. And own clothes can be smart too. So you could have a smart casual look. You don't have to look scruffy just because you're wearing your own clothes. Hopefully you've come up with some of those reasons. Pause the video and add any more that you want to to your own ideas. Okay, so the first sentence of the model text said, despite the overwhelming evidence, most civilians wholeheartedly disagree with this strategy. In fact, they argue that there are many benefits to people being with their families when back from this infection. So we've got to write um, a sentence to start this paragraph to say, actually, we don't think uniforms that important. We, we can bank it. Okay, you can use the word bank on Cecil to help you. Let's have a look at mine. I said, on the other hand, many parents and pupils would like to see uniform bands. So I'm stating the purpose of this paragraph, I'm going to tell you why it should be banned. I can improve this though. I like, on the other hand, many parents and pupils would like to see, I'm going to say, policies concerning, I'm not getting any better with this pen, am I? Uniform to be re evaluated. Or hyphenated word. Re evaluated means looked at again. Okay, have a go at writing your first sentence. Remember to say each sentence aloud before writing, proofread it, and check spellings and punctuation. Okay, for the second sentence, we need to state the first um, point in our argument now. Why don't we have to wear uniforms? So why shouldn't children have to wear uniforms? This is not my sentence. Let's see how it sounds and how we can improve it. So many stress uniforms are far too expensive. In fact, they insist that £300 could be saved a year if children were to wear non-uniform. This includes sports clothing, replacing lost items and constantly buying larger sizes. So many stress uniforms are far too expensive. That's the main clause. And then in my next sentence, I've 
and I'm to explain that so it's a related clause so I'm going to put change that to a semicolon and therefore this has to be lowercase. So many stress uniforms are far too expensive. In fact they insist that £300 could be saved a year if children were to wear non-uniform. And now I'm expanding, I'm adding more detail. This includes sports clothing on my replacing last items and constantly buying larger sizes. So here I've added some different punctuations, so I'm using multi-clause sentences. So I've got a main clause separated by a semicolon, which is followed by another main clause, which is related to the first main clause. And then I've also got a colon here to explain the list includes sports clothing, replacing last items and constantly buying larger sizes. So now think about the first point you're going to make in your argument. Think about the sentence, think about it in your head, say it out loud, write it down, proofread, check your spellings and punctuation. For the next sentence, we need to give another reason why uniforms should be banned. So I've had a go. Children are denied their freedom of expression. Taking away a child's identity can be bad. Hmm. I can improve this. Furthermore, I'm adding to my argument. Furthermore, comma, so this is lowercase b, children are denied their freedom of expression. Now, at dash for emphasis, taking away a child's identity can be bad, can be critical, can be, let me think of some synonyms. Okay, have a go at your next sentence, remember. Say it out loud, write it down, proofread, and then check the spellings and punctuation. Now for the next sentence, we need to give another reason to explain why uniform is not very important. It can be argued that children are able to work just as hard and follow rules if they are wearing their own clothes, which can be more comfortable and do not need to be costly. I'm going to, not so much as an improve, I say it can be argued that children are able to work just as hard and follow or conform to rules, conform to rules if they're wearing their own clothes, which can be comfortable and do not need to be costly. Have a look at your next sentence. Let's look at the next sentence and we now need to include some facts and statistics to support our argument. I've had a go. 1,200 pupils who were surveyed largely agreed that their studies and behaviour would not be affected if they were able to wear their own clothes. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to add some more information. Who was surveyed? What age range? So I could say 1,200 pupils who were surveyed. Here, I could add a rented clause. So here, comma, age between... 8 and 16, comma, largely agreed that their studies and behaviour would not be affected if they were able to wear their own clothes. Okay, so have a go at your next sentence. I want you to conclude, uh, include a fact or a statistic. It can be made up, it doesn't matter. Okay, have a go at writing your third paragraph on the sheet on Seesaw. We look forward to reading your work. Bye, Yosef.